right, welcome back, everybody. Take a Girl Child to Work initiative. I know you've all heard of it, but it is once again that time of the year where nationally on Thursday, the 28th of May, we're going to do exactly that. The campaign aims uh, at giving grade 10 to 12 girl learners an opportunity to visit a place of work and experience various career opportunities. The initiative forms part of the need to empower women. Well, joining us from our Cape Town studio is the Minister in the Presidency responsible for women is uh, Minister Susan Shibangu. Minister, so lovely to have you. Thank you very much for being our guest here on the program. Thank you, thank you, Leanne. And here in the Johannesburg studio with me is Suzette van Amerva from Commercial Communications at Celsi. Good to have you, Suzette. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Nice to be back. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe... Uh, firstly, Suzette, just tell me, how long has this campaign been running for? This year is the 13th year. 13th year. So years. it's really come a long way and it's been just, you know, well supported. I think I don't even want to call it a campaign anymore. I think yeah. it's become a movement. You know, it's grown so much in terms of... Um, of, of, of the initial roots, and it's wonderful to see it's become a little teenager. Yeah, well it has. <laughs> this is entering into its teenage years. Minister, for, from, the, from the department and your perspective, is, are, are, is this the type of campaign you want to see happening? Is this what you believe the girl child needs to motivate them? Well, I must say, Leanne, this is an important uh, program for girl children in South Africa exposing to work and making sure that they're able to get exposure in various ways when it comes to work environment. And I must say that the partnership between us and CELSI, it's a partnership which contributes towards the development of, of, of the girl child. We're very excited as government and we will continue to work together with CELSI in making sure that uh, the exposure of girls continues in our country. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about about 675,000 girl learners that have gone through the system. Is that an accurate number, Suzette? I mean, is that how many lives have been touched through this campaign? Absolutely. You know, um, year on year, we measure how many companies register online to participate and how many girls they register to, to take into the work environment. So that, that is it. And, you know, this year we also launched an alumni program because some of these girls are now coming forward and saying, this day changed my life. Today wow. I'm a doctor. Today I'm a chartered accountant. And they want to pay it forward. So we formed a group of these uh, former participants in the program. And they now give talks at schools. And they've um, you know, just stepped forward and said, how can we motivate corporates to take on even more girls? Mm, mm, to do something like this. Minister, if, if we have to just focus on, on the women and girls here in South Africa, um, you know, alone in this sector, in, in basically in education and, and getting into the work sector, how is that going to reduce the amount of poverty that we face here in the country? Well, I must say that if you focus on girl children or you empower a girl child, it leads to much more empowerment of society. It deals with alleviation of poverty, but it also builds deals with the self-confidence of women generally in life. And I think if more women can be educated, especially the girl children, we know that many lives can be changed because they are the first point of call in any home. They are the ones who are able of taking care of their families. They understand what goes on, but also broadly in society. There is a reflection that the more women are participating in boardrooms, in companies. There's a, a, a much change in productivity, in attitude, attitude, in ethics of various companies. So this program is very, very important. And I think uh, it plays a very, very critical, important role in South Africa. So I must say, what uh, CELSI is doing, including now what they are doing in terms of alumni, when we launch uh, this program uh, this early this month, I met some of the alumni, excellent, very intelligent girls. One of them works for Rand, uh, what do you call it? RMB, mm. uh, Merchant Bank. And that it shows that uh, the exposure of girl children in workplaces, in different fields, indeed will change South Africa in the long run. Yeah. yeah Minister, uh, quite, a, quite an interesting question and something that I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if it was years gone by, I suppose, there was a, there was a, a blatant answer for it. But, but here's the question I'm going to ask you. What are some of the stereotypes that, that are instilled in our girl learners that you would like to, to change? What, what would you like to see different? Well, I would like to, what I would like to see different it's a recognition of that uh, girl children 
are part of society, they are equal, they are capable of doing anything, but also they can participate in all forms of or all sectors of the economy in our country. And I think if we can deal with those stereotypes, but also stereotypes of looking at uh, girl children in terms of masculine or, or biological uh, appearances needs to go away, where we are, make, we are making sure that girl children are accepted but also they're treated equally. Mm. And when we talk about gender mainstreaming in South Africa, that's exactly what it means. We need to move away from gender neutrality in making sure that we are conscious, we change attitudes, bullying in schools, especially against girl children, abuse of women in our society comes to an end because yeah. these are the issues which tends to take us back as society. For me, those are the fundamentals which we have to make sure that we fight not only ourselves as government, together with everybody, especially civil society in South Africa. If we can really reduce abuse of women, contribute towards making sure that violence against women comes to an end in our society, then we'll be talking about an ideal society which we're all looking forward to, which is a non-racial, non-sexist South Africa in that way. Yeah, yeah, Our indeed. country will be different. It certainly will be. And also getting rid of stereotypes of some of the professions that, that women are supposed to go into and that are male-dominated. I mean, from the, the, this particular campaign, how do you measure its success? How do you look at it and say, okay, I mean, this is, this is working? You, you know, it's, it's really hard, I think, because from a South Sea perspective, uh, we are the innovator and, um, you know, we create the platform. But our success of this campaign really is the movement, the support we have from government, from civil society, from more than 500 corporates year on year that participate and take girls into the environment and expose them to, to the workplace. I think we will continue to see these beautiful alumni girls stepping forward and saying, this day has changed my life. And in terms of measuring the success, um, if companies step forward and start giving girls more bursaries, mm. that would be wonderful. Salsi has, has started that. We've just inducted 10 more girls into our bursary program. And I really want to make a call on, on corporate South Africa to say, consider that. We've also started an institute of mentorship, you know, where we say one day, is it really enough? Yes, it can change a girl's mindset and it can make her dream and believe and, and achieve through hard work and education. But maybe we need to have an older generation of women that say we are prepared to, to nurture and to mentor. Yeah. So we started an institute of mentorship. And these are all what I say. It's not just a day. It's becoming a movement that says let's see what we can do together as a whole and not just as a single brand saying this is the... The, the walk. Indeed. You know. This is just setting an example for many others to follow. Exactly. Well, there you go. I'm looking forward to hosting uh, whichever young girl comes to us because every year we do get a few joining us on that day, the 28th of May. And it's nice to know that your daughter is here. So maybe today will change her life. So Suzette's daughter sitting in the corner there watching what television is all about. This is her dream. And you never know. This could be her sitting here one day. Who knows? Suzette, thank you for being with us. Thanks, it's Leon. always a pleasure. And Minister, thank you for the passion that you instill in the ministry. Uh, I know that what you're doing is great work for women. Thank you. That's the uh, Minister Susan Shabangu, who sits in the presidency and is, uh, is with us here on Morning Light. Thank you. I've, thank and you, Minister, I've you. also got our, our, uh, our production laughing at us, saying that it looks like the two of us are wearing a uniform this morning, Minister. Look at that two shot. Can you see it on your screen? <laughs> you and I in our black and white uh, jackets. I saw you before I left home this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, what can we say? It's lovely. Thanks, Minister. All right, let's take a break it here is. on the program. We've got more after this. Stay tuned.